What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. I am in Poteet, Texas. I've never even heard of this town until I came down here. I'm hunting with uh, Pat with Sotex Outfitters. I got uh, my brother-in-law Judd and Brad. We just got done eating at Dairy Queen. They're still inside. So Poteet is known for strawberries. It's the strawberry capital of Texas. I had no idea. I, I haven't even heard of Poteet, Texas. So. Um, but we're down here to do some hunting. We just got in, it was about a four and a half hour drive. So, uh, obviously it's dark outside, but uh, Pat with Sotex Outfitters basically just gave me the keys to his place and uh, said go shoot what you can tonight. Uh, we can go after pigs, uh, coyotes, bobcats, fox, uh, really anything that we can call up. We got, I think, about 600 acres to hunt tonight. So we're gonna go make a few stands and uh, we gotta be up super early because we are down here for Javelina. We came down here to shoot a Javelina. He's just letting us call this place. It's never been called before as long as he can remember. So uh, it should be good, but bad news is we got a full moon. The good news is, is this is the coldest day it's been this year in Texas or this fall in Texas. Um, it's actually 61 degrees right now and it hadn't been anywhere close to that yet so it feels amazing outside so I think stuff's gonna be out moving but uh, the full moon might make them not be moving so we'll see but uh, we're gonna go make a few stands and then uh, go get a hotel or something and then we're gonna wake up early come see if we can't shoot a javelina or a turkey with our bow alright guys we just rolled up to our first spot um, I've been looking all my uh, base map app because I really didn't know this property uh, he just gave us the the areas that we could hunt so he just showed me on base map where we could hunt but we're gonna make a few stands right here and then we got a feeder that we're gonna go check um, he said pigs have been coming into it every single night so hopefully we get a few pigs on the ground but we got two pulsar thermals and uh, we're gonna sneak up to the feeder with that and then we're gonna make a few calls and see if we can't call in a coyote I imagine since this place has never been called before that we're going to call up either a coyote or a bobcat. Uh, he didn't say there was a whole lot of foxes down here, but I think there's definitely going to be a bobcat or, or a coyote, but time will tell. This full moon is never good for hunting, so we'll see what happens. There you go. See ya. I can't even express to you how long I've wanted a ringtail cat. I have dreamt of shooting a ringtail cat my whole life. And I lived in Texas my whole life and they're native to Texas. And they're just not up where I live. Um, well, I guess they kind of are. They've been, they've been killed around where I live, but I've never seen one in person. And uh, I've hunted a lot. So it's definitely a bucket list animal and I uh, gotta check that off. I put him in the cooler. Sorry, I didn't show you guys, but I uh, I wrapped him up in a uh, corn corn sack. I didn't have anything else, and put him in the cooler to keep him cool until we get home. Uh, we got one more day here, so we're just gonna keep ice on him, and then I'm gonna take him to my taxidermist as soon as we get home. And uh, he's going in the office for sure. We didn't see any pigs at the uh, feeder, so we're gonna head over. Uh, we got one other field about probably 500 yards away. We're gonna go call over there. So the cool thing about the air gun is I didn't make any noise hardly. I shot twice uh, at that ringtail and we didn't shoot any pigs. So we didn't mess up the area. We stayed quiet. I think we got three other places that we can call tonight. And um, the next one's about 500 yards away. So we're gonna head over there, 
call there and then uh, see if we can get something up in there. Smoking, dude. Hey, bam! Give me some of that. Bam, baby. Yes. Good shot, dude. Smoked him. Oh, <laughs> dude, that is so awesome. I know. I've wanted one of those. Oh, me too, so dude. So freaking long. Brad's been searching all night long. <laughs> Finally got him a ring tail. Finally got him. Dude. Ooh, he stinks. Coolest dude. animal in Texas by far. Freaking awesome. But they do stink. That mine didn't stink. Dude, this thing smells awesome. Did awful. you smell I couldn't smell mine though. No, I didn't smell yours. Dude. Trip was just made with the air rifle too. That's right. Joe, did you spot him or did Brad spot him? Brad spotted him. No. Nice. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe I didn't get it. I didn't press record on the thermal, but we were literally leaving our last stand. We haven't seen anything tonight. I don't know what's going on. We're seeing a bunch of coons in the trees with the thermals, and that's pretty much all we've seen tonight besides uh, the ringtail cat. So we're at our last stand, and we're driving out. They're in the back and Judd knocks on the top of the roof to tell me to stop. I pull out the gun, step out, and there's three coyotes standing 100 yards from us. And I shot two, one dropped, and then one ran to the right and the other one ran to the left. But uh, we can't find the one that dropped at the beginning in the thermal, so we don't know what happened to him. We're going to keep looking for him and I'm going to go pick this one up over here to the right. He's still moving, so I don't know what's going on with him. but. Uh, we're gonna go pick them up and then maybe go make one more stand since they're moving now. guys it's two o'clock in the morning we are at holiday inn express and uh, that's a wrap for tonight we did end up finding one coyote he's right there super bright small coyote but uh we're gonna get some rest hope you all enjoyed this video stay tuned for the next one because we're waking up early in the morning to go after javelinas and turkeys so uh I'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and remember eat good I don't know how you're going to get in here, buddy. Why can't they just give us a room on the first floor? Just please return when I'm not in use. Appreciate the help us with it. Liar.